Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to take a little look at some of the stuff that has been shown off at Warhammer Fest. I'm not there today, there tomorrow, but it does mean that I'm right here, which means all of the reveals I can impart to you right now. Not all of them, most of them. Some of them. Anyway, I'm just excited. There's so much cool shit. There's actually some really good stuff. I'm so happy about a lot of this. So first of all, let's talk about the paint stuff, the contrast and paint thing. We talked about this last week, about what it was going to be. There'd been some leaks. Someone said it was essentially a one coat paint that did all of the work. You know, it made, it made recesses darker, it made raised areas lighter, it seemed a little bit too good to be true, although I did point out we've got things like Hex Wraith Flame and Nighthorn Gloom that already did something similar. It turns out that's exactly what it is. That person was dead on the money, they were absolutely correct, and there's going to be a whole range of these things, which I'm super happy about. So, there's a little picture on the Warhammer community site, I'll link the... Uh, thing in the description so you can just go through and see all of the stuff that's been revealed so far. So uh, this is what the paint does, and to be honest, if it works as well as it looks like it works, I'm I'm absolutely there, I'm, I'm happy with this, this is great. If it gets people who are not into the painting side of this hobby, actually to the point where they're able to just essentially throw on four different colours and end up with something as as finished looking as that as that model, then Count me in. Great idea. If it works like that in practice, that is fantastic. There's also some new sprays that are going to come along with it, which I'm hoping... I mean, the sprays are going to be the thing that decides whether this works, because sticking that blue over black, for instance, is not going to... It's not going to do great. It's not going to look brilliant, I don't think, unless you want a really, really dark blue. You do need a lighter model, I think, for a lot of this stuff. And personally, my experience with things like Corax White has been nothing short of god-awful 90% of the time. If the sprays have been tweaked, and if they're more reliable, if they're more consistent, if there's less chance of your models turning, turning to, like, grey cement, then I'm all on board for this. This looks great. And there's a, it looks there's to be a decent number of colours to start with. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good to me. I'm happy about this. If whatever helps people paint, whatever helps people get into that side of things and means less grey on the table... And more kind of more of a complete hobby experience. I'm all in favour. So I'm glad that turned out to be true. If it works as well as it looks like it works, and if all the colours are as easy to use as they're suggesting, then probably nothing short of a godsend for a lot of people, myself included. Like I've told you guys, I'm not. I'm like I prefer building. Painting is fairly low on the list in terms of enjoyment. I like simple schemes that are easy to pull off with technical paints to make them stand out a bit more. This, perfect for me, absolutely perfect. On to the next thing, which is the Adeptus Mechanicus Transport. Not just a transport, I'll have you know, it's also a full-fat tank, which is quality. However, you will recall that last week, when we were talking about this, what could it possibly look like? Is it going to look more 30k? Is it going to look more 40k? What is this thing going to resemble, really, when we get right down to it? I said, like, lots of legs, like maybe a centipede-type design, something close to the dune crawler. I didn't want a box. Didn't want another Imperium box. No more Imperium boxes. Let's have something properly unique for the Skitari, for the Adeptus Mechanicus. So, it's it's a box. I'm just going to put it out there straight away. It's an open top box. It's an actual hovercraft. Like, what the hell? It, what is this thing? <laughs> it's so mental. Like, it's so weird. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love this. There are plenty of people who don't. I've seen a lot of people really unhappy about the design of this thing. I actually really like the design. I will say there is a caveat to that. I love the look of it. I love the fact it's an actual hovercraft. That's bizarre and it's great. I don't necessarily know that this is the best vehicle for 40k Admech. Like, I like the vehicle itself. I just don't know whether it fits the aesthetic of that faction Bits of it do, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not suggesting that it doesn't look anything like the rest of the Admech stuff, but there is a distinct difference between this and what is currently on offer, and it's it's a pretty damn big difference at that. That being said, it is boxy, it does look ramshackle, it looks just outright bizarre, just all over it. I mean, you get a better feel of how mental it is with the full tank version, I mean, Jesus Christ, just look at that thing. There is obviously, clearly, Admex, Guitari, 
stuff in there. You can tell what it's part of. It just doesn't necessarily fully fit the look of that faction. You know, you've got just bits from the the Dune Crawler on there, like the the main body of the Dune Crawler. You've got the turret that's on the side has been moved over to the right of this thing. Which again, I really like this. It's just weird in the context of that faction. I mean, the pluses are that. It's definitely, despite being a box, actually quite a unique looking vehicle. Like it is, it's it's a floating toaster, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look exactly like every other Imperium vehicle, despite the fact that it is ostensibly just a box like the rest of them. There are things in there that makes it nice and unique, nice and different. It has a, an interesting silhouette at the very least. I just don't know whether it necessarily 100% fits the, the ad mech aesthetic for 40k. So it's like a weird thing where I like the vehicle, I'm just not entirely sure whether it's the right vehicle for that particular faction. But, I mean, the thing is, one of the things I specified was that it at least looks like like crazy and different. And it does look crazy and different. That that cannot be denied. It it might have all the hallmarks of of another Imperium vehicle, you know, just being a big box, but it's a uniquely shaped big box with a weird method of getting around. And there is not really another faction that has something particularly like that. Even the Repulsor, which we'll get to in a second, um, it just is not on the same wavelength as that thing. They are demonstrably different. They are clearly different. And I do like that. It's just not quite what I was expecting. And it doesn't really fit the aesthetic of 40k or 30k for Admex. So... Yeah, it, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. It's not terrible, though. I do like it, although I know plenty of people don't. Speaking of the Repulsor, people have been asking for an actual transport or an actual tank. You know, now have an actual tank for Primaris, which is nice, which is the uh, the Repulsor Executioner, which is a highly original name, I'm sure you'll agree. And essentially, it is the same Repulsor that you know and love, but with more guns on it, because it didn't have enough of those to begin with. Um... <laughs> So that's like that's literally what it is. It's still just the repulsor, but it's got a I'm what looks to be a much bigger turret, so that you can fit a much bigger gun on top of the much bigger turret. So if you already like the repulsor, that is going to be good news. It's yeah, it, it looks exactly how you'd expect it to look. To be honest, this is closer to what I thought it should have been in the first place, but. I'm not going to complain about sticking a macro plasma incinerator on a tank. It still looks cool. It looks funky, and uh, yeah, it's just it is it's just the <laughs> repulsor with more guns. Um, so, but yeah, there's the uh, there's the macro plasma incinerator and the heavy laser destroyer, which uh, which is which is that one there. Which again, I quite like like the anti tank option on that. Still not as cool as just an old predator in my view personally, but. It looks cool. I like the oversized turret, and uh, and the fact that instead of instead of removing the onslaught Gatling cannon, you just stick an extra gun next to it. Because what else are you supposed to do with a tank that has as many guns as a repulsor already had? Just slap an extra one on. You're good to go. There has also been a bit of news about Apocalypse. It's best to give that a read through. As I say, I will link the uh, I'll link the article in the description down below so you can take a look at it there's been some more stuff shown for Horus Heresy so we'll take a quick look at some of that stuff because I mean some of it looks funky I still like this knight it's mad it looks a little bit I don't know why but the the main torso of it looks a little bit Pokemon for some reason but I still quite like that um, some of the we've got more of the white scar stuff again I do like these guys white scars in black actually look really good I've, I've never really thought about White Scars being in black, but that's a colour scheme that really, really works. Also, I do like their weapons as well. White Scars have got cool-looking weapons. I'm still not convinced about uh, about Chapter Master Ralderon. Uh, he looks he looks like dated in a weird way. I, I don't know how else to put it. it looks just looks a bit dated. There are aspects of that model I quite like, but things like the blood being wiped off the blade, I'm not so sure about. It's. It, I wouldn't say it's bad, just not to my personal taste is probably the best way to put it. Obviously, you've got to have some crazy uh, land speeder and jet bike nonsense for white scars, but... That's such a cool dread. But the thing that's got me excited, more than anything, weirdly, is actually the uh, the Demons of the Ruinstorm, because I quite like these designs. They look... They're like a, they're like a midway between what I would think of as Forge World style and Games Workshop style. 
and they do look they look considerably more fantasy actually in a way i think it's the yeah i'm not sure what it what it is about it but i do like the overall design of this guy and uh and these lads as well it's just yeah there's something about them that is just just right they're definitely really freaky which works well obviously for for demons as a whole but there's just there's some quality to these that it just hits the right buttons and i can't really describe why but they look pretty damn cool i mean clearly though the most important news the best bit of news you might think it's it's Admet getting a transport and getting a tank and all of that stuff. Yeah, sure, that's great. You know, everyone likes that. I mean, we've also got a painted sister of battle as well, which I shall just take a quick look at, which I've totally forgotten about until just now. And she looks great. And she'll be available to order before the uh, the main release, which is awesome. And that's that's a thing that's going to happen for, I'd imagine, literally everybody. The fact they've stuck with the uh, the kind of original design for these, I really like. And that model does look great painted. But the most important thing, clearly, is not all this Imperium nonsense. It's not even having a transport for a faction that has been asking for it for ages. The most important thing I think you'll find is this. Which is an actual proper Chaos Knight kit. Not from Forge World, from Games Workshop. Just take a second. I'm just going to be quiet for a minute. Just going to drink it in. Look how fucking cool that is. Look at it. The legs are what I actually wanted Imperial Nags, Nags, Legs to look like. I wanted Imperial Knight Legs to look like that. And, and they didn't. And now they do. Why didn't they all look like that? That looks class. It looks way better. I've, I love that. Just the legs alone, I really like. It's just so much more brutal and threatening and... Like, the exposed pipework and stuff by the shoulders looks fucking quality. The extra ornamentation and stuff, the spikes, the chains. Look at the gauntlet. The gauntlet even looks better. It's like he's got a second gauntlet next to the gauntlet. I mean, look at them. They just look cooler than the original Imperial Knights, for my money, by some considerable margin at that. Like, I can see people buying these for just Imperial Knights, just so they can get the cool legs without having to cut away and faff around. These look fucking great. Honestly, I really, I really like these. They look fantastic. And it would appear there is going to be a full codex. So, it's not just, it's not just awesome Imperial Knights. With just extra, like, the spikes and the battle damage and the, the chains and... The, the gauntlet with a gauntlet on, like over the top of it. Not just all of that. It's not just a visual thing. There is an actual codex to go along with it. Oh, God. I'm so, I'm so happy about these. I really am. And, I mean, as they say, coming to the new Chaos Knight will be a fully-fledged codex that even lets you unleash the true might of the Quest of Trey Taurus on the battlefield. All the knight patterns from Index Renegade Knights will still be usable, only now be able to combine them with stratagems, warlord traits, relics, and of course, knight rampages and knight despoilers. Solid. New lore, meanwhile, will allow you to explore the shadowy history of the Chaos Knights. As much fashions of the Long War as the heretic Astartes kin, with thousands of years of history behind them that sheds new light on the dark powers of chaos. I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm genuinely so happy. I know, look, don't get me wrong, okay, don't get me wrong, we're going to go back to this guy, because look at it. Don't get me wrong, I know the old complaint, I'm aware of the old complaint, in some ways I agree with the old complaint, that Chaos just gets what the Imperium gets, but it looks cooler. And in a in a way, that is true. But with stuff like this, I, I look at that complaint and I go, I can see exactly why you would think that, I can see why you'd be unhappy that once again Chaos is getting the thing that Imperium has had, and I don't give a shit, because look at it. That's fucking great. I don't, I don't care about any of the dissenting opinions towards this, if there even are any. There might be some, there's always some. Don't give a shit. That looks fantastic. The overall design is great. The extra detail makes me happy. It is still recognisably an Imperial Knight, but the way that it has been altered to to type better suit the image of Chaos, I think is absolutely spot on. There is some fucking grand work going on here, and I'm going to end up with an army of them. I'm just going to say it right now. I resisted. I resisted so well. So well the urge to actually have an Imperial Knight army. I didn't do it, right? I could have done, but I didn't. I bought one. I put it together. I was like, this is great. 
I bought a second. But you know what? I sold that. I sold that to fund chaos stuff. I hadn't even built it. It was still in the box. That's not going to happen this time. I can tell you for now, that's not going to happen this time. I'm going to have a fucking bunch of these. And I don't care if they're crap. I don't care if they get nerfed. I don't care what happens. I don't care where they are on the power rankings for armies. Don't give a shit. They could be bottom of every tournament in the land. I don't care. That looks fucking quality, and I want at least five of them, and I'm not going to stop until I do. That's that's the bottom line for that. There's been some great stuff revealed so far, and so far I don't think there's anything that I don't like. Like, I like everything that I've seen, which, again, is one of those things that is relatively rare. There are things that aren't quite up to my taste, like Chapter, Ma Chapter Master Raldoran is not my favourite model I've ever seen, but even then, I don't think it's awful. And when you have stuff like this, when you've actually got a transport and tank option for Skitari, when you've finally got a ridiculously overarmed version of the Repulsor, when Games Workshop are bringing out paints that are just going to make it easier for people to paint their armies, I, I cannot complain so far about what has been revealed. It just makes me happy. And that's, that's just the end of it. It just makes me happy. And I cannot wait for this kit to come out. I genuinely can't. I need it in my life. My Slanesh army by my Emperor's children is going to be supported by one of those straight off the bat, because how can I possibly resist? Just look at it. Fucking amazing. Love it. I'm not even going to turn it off. You can keep looking at it as I do the outro. Thank you very much for watching. There will be another video later on with the other stuff that is revealed on this Saturday for Warhammer Fest. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Whatever else is shown off, we will talk about later in the day. And in the meantime, I'm going to go away, and I'm going to drool unendingly over this particular model, and essentially start wondering what to sell to fund an army of them because I just need it I actually need it like some sort of actual crack thank you very much for watching feel free to click all the things Patreon videos as well all that stuff let me know what you think of all this stuff in the comments down below I usually do that bit first but I forgot but still do that anyway and I will see you for the next one later toodaloo